Hi, hello, hello there. How are you doing? How are you doing? I hope you are doing well. I hope you are strong. I hope you are moving on and you are not giving up. Well, today is another beautiful day. And guess what? As at the time I'm doing this recording, is the 25th of March. Wow, I'm so amazed. And I'm asking myself, where is March marching to? Are you not surprised that the month of March has come to an end so fast? Hello, I am. So in this today, it looks like this series might be our last series for the month of March, which means that in the month of March, we had three series. Well, what are we talking about in this month of March? We are talking about dealing with dream killers. So the first series, I hope you remember, please make sure if it's your first time, subscribe and share, go on the, my, my timeline. You see the first series, you see the second series. Please make sure that you, I think the first series we talk about self-doubt, dealing with self-doubt with a dream killer. And the second one we talk about dealing with consideration which is also a, a dream killer and today I want us to talk about one common I don't want to use the word powerful for it because it's not powerful but it's very deadly and common dream killer and it's called what? I know you are guessing and you, your guess is right procrastination procrastination now this is one in the earlier series, I said all of them are major dream killers, but procrastination is a major dream killer in the highest and the second degree. <laughs> yes, procrastination has killed a lot of dreams. Oh my God. And this is a struggle that we all go through every day. Hello, hello. We all go through every day. But today, I want to share with my personal experience how I deal with procrastination. I want to share it with you, you know, and I, I hope and I trust that it will also help you to also deal with procrastination and kill and stop killing your dreams or leaving your dreams on the table. Now, what is procrastination? As you all know, that's something that always come up that we have to do. I will say, oh, tomorrow, oh, I'll do it tomorrow. I'll do it tomorrow, I'll do it tomorrow. It always come up, I'll do it tomorrow, I'll do it tomorrow, I'll do it tomorrow. And we never ever get it done. Does that sound familiar? Yes, very, very familiar. And I know maybe even right now you are watching me, you are like, yes, Grace, yesterday I said I would do something. And I said, I'll do it tomorrow. I'll do it tomorrow. Hello, yours truly. I also go through it every day. But one thing I want you to, to learn today or to get today is that we should not allow it to kill our dreams totally. We should not allow it to kill our dreams totally. So how can we deal with procrastination? One of the ways I deal with procrastination is, I have, I have two ways. The first thing is, I always put myself in an accountability group. So I either have an accountability partner or I have an accountability group and I make sure that that partner keeps me accountable on the things that I want to do. That has helped me a lot. And just yesterday, before this recording, I remember talking to my accountability partner and something that we were both supposed to do from a coach, you know, and she also says she has not done her own. I said, I've not done my own. And guess what that thing is? <laughs> guess what? We are supposed to write a book. We are supposed to write a book, you know. And I've started a book, all right. In fact, I've had a cover and I want to launch this book on my birthday. And at the beginning of March, I said that every day I'm going to write a chapter or a number of words to the book. And guess what? It never happened. So I was discussing with my accountability accountability partner. So we're laughing over it and said, Grace, no, not let us laugh well. We have to do this thing. So as I'm standing here now, in my mind, that book is already complete and I'm going to do it. And she is also going to do her own. So don't don't be on your own. 
that's what i want to tell you don't be on your own if you can whenever you set your goals for the year for the month or whatever it is find an accountability partner put yourself in a good and the right environment either from your work from your chair get someone okay most of the time i get my accountability partners from coaching programs the coaching programs i roll on and all that and that's why i i replicate it in my coaching program anytime women come on my coaching my campus i make sure that i pair them up with an accountability partner i also have a a, a membership club called the achievers membership club and in that club we are committed to achieving our goals and i know so well that one of the things that can help when it comes to achieving your goals is how you are able to partner or you have an accountability partner your group so i put people i pair them accountability accountability partners and i also put them in a group so that they can encourage each other push each other to achieve their goals i don't joke with it at all it's very very important it's very very important so please please when you set your goals or when you want to do something look for an account now you can get a, an accountability coach as well so in my membership achieve achievers I'm, i am the accountability coach yes i'm the policeman to make sure that they achieve their dreams those people in that achieve achievers membership plan so whilst i put them in an accountability group i pair them up accountability partners i also i am also their accountability coach so if you want a link you want to join us in the you can go to my social media handles um especially on Instagram the link in my bio has the link to the achievers membership club or you can comment here and on this video and I'll respond I'll send you the link you can join us on the achievers membership club as well okay so make sure you find someone it could be your if you are married it could be your partner so your husband can be your accountability partner your wife can become your accountability partner you can use your mother if you are free with your mother i mean if you are not married and maybe you are single you are living with your parents your siblings can become your accountability partners just to make sure that what you say that you do you do it you know so i think even when it comes to health like you want to exercise and all that yours truly once again i bought a mat you know every week i go for a walk and if i don't go for the walk i make sure that when i'm going somewhere i walk so this week i have to go for my walk yesterday i was supposed to go and go today i have to go for it so if it happens i don't go i'm going somewhere to walk or whatever it is i will make sure that i walk the distance that i'm supposed to walk when i was going for my walk. and i said oh let me buy a, a yoga mat you know so i want to watch exercise on youtube a stomach exercise and whatever i've lost quite some weight though because of schooling and all that you know work and all that but it's okay let me buy the mat so i can watch youtube guess what yours truly still have the mat in your wardrobe or in the cupboard you know and i opened that one when i look at the mat i said i'm going to get this thing done so one of the ways that you can also apart from having an accountability practice and all that i also want you to look at the, the future ahead of you what do you want to achieve your end result you know when you achieve this result how will you feel how will you how will it be for you and all that and i want that thing to motivate you so that you can achieve your goals so i was talking to you about my book i always want to do something significant on my birthday i just don't want to celebrate birthdays no i don't just want to celebrate birthdays i want to anytime i'm celebrating my birthday I either want to be launching a coaching program or doing something. So this time round, I'm launching my second solo book. I have one solo book and then two books that I co-authored, and this fourth one will be my second solo book. And I want to launch it on my birthday. I've done the cover, the book cover, and everything. And so I, I, I don't want to. I, I keep that picture. So how is it going to be like? On my birthday, I'm launching my book. You know, while people are saying happy birthday, they are saying congratulations and all that. Or oh, even right now, I'm standing here. That one is motivating me now. I want to stop this video where I finish that book. You know, so always have the end result in your mind when you achieve that goal. How would you feel? So that when you tell yourself tomorrow, you are going to sleep tomorrow, you wake up and then you come and do it. 
again I, I mean this is this is very simple right yes yes it's very simple very simple look at the end results that you are going to get after you have achieved that goal and stop procrastinating it i'm telling you that it's going to always picture yourself getting the medal achieving the goal always picture yourself people telling you oh congratulations you've done well and all that you will always picture yourself people celebrating you are being an impact and all that always have an end result in mind and it will, it will encourage you it will motivate you to stop procrastinating and do what you have to do i believe this has been a very valuable lesson to you if you learned something please share it in the comments and let others know let me know as well and also like share subscribe to this channel the possibility tv as i said it has always been my dream to inspire African women, to help them know that there's more to their lives and to help them assess their possibilities. From my background, where I came from, that I felt like losing a job was the end of my life. But along the way, I was able to assess my possibilities to become an author, to become a speaker and to become a coach. And I believe that for every woman, that there is more inside that we have to make it up and that's why this channel exists to create content to inspire to encourage empower and equip women to access their possibilities so share it like it with any woman that you know that they have to access their possibilities thank you so much for watching thank you so much god bless you have a wonderful wonderful day bye bye